This video is gonna be about the manifold absolute pressure sensor and the oxygen sensor from this Mini 1 with the diesel engine. So you're gonna see what are the voltage values you have to read at the connector, what is the relationship between these two sensors and how to use them if they work, how to use them in order to diagnose a problem like a vacuum leak or a bad fuel consumption or any other problems or trouble codes related to the air intake for this diesel engine. Let's see first some live data and find out what this MAP sensor is reporting. Barometric pressure, intake manifold absolute pressure, okay. So I'm gonna start the engine and see what values we're reading. So as you could see the sensor was technically responding but the decrease in pressure was not significant as it should because there is a lot of vacuum inside the intake manifold and the decrease in pressure was just 0.01 bars or something like that. Let's open this sensor and find out what's going on here. All you need is just a T30 and open this bolt. This one is going to be tightened in plastic so... Oh man this is crazy. That's a lot of carbon build up in here, man. So this is how the sensor looks like. Okay. It's completely covered in carbon build up. And there is a lot more inside that intake manifold. So this might explain why we cannot read the pressure change. We've got here a safety clip. I'll just pull it out. The sensor comes out. Looks like here it's supposed to be a hole, but it's not anymore, so let's see. Still some carbon in there. Okay, now the sensor looks a lot better. I know if I want to properly clean the intake manifold, I have to remove it. But at this point, I just want to see if the sensor works and it does respond. So I'm just going to do some local cleaning. Now I'm going to connect the sensor back. I'm going to turn the ignition on. So we've got 101 kilopascals. Let's connect the hand vacuum pump. Yeah, there we go. The sensor is responding very well. Here we go. It goes down to 50. Now for the final test, let's connect back the sensor. You have to also inspect the o-ring because that can cause vacuum leaks as well and it will mess up with the readings from the map sensor okay the sensor it's on now let's have a look on the graph when i'm gonna start the engine right now obviously it's just the atmospheric pressure 101 kilopascals Let's check out finally the voltage values at the connector for this sensor because now we know it's a good sensor so you can compare these values with your values at home. I'm gonna start with the wire from this side and the one in the middle we've got 5 volts and let's see the one here we've got 3.86 volts. Now let's see between the middle and the wire from this side we've got 1.06 volts. The car battery voltage is 12.9 volts and these were the values. Always make 100% sure that you are not short circuiting these wires. Now let's move on to the oxygen sensor, of course I will show you how to remove it and test it up using a voltmeter but first let's have a look at the live data because that's how all the diagnosis should begin with, right? 
So we have both values of the map sensor and the oxygen sensor under normal driving conditions and this is the most important inspection you can do when there are any issues regarding with the engine no matter if it's an air fuel issue or a strange sound or bad fuel economy doesn't matter you have to test it under normal driving conditions and check the live data i think this is the most common answer i give to people in the comments because the questions i get are not possible to be answered unless you do this test now in this situation we you have to see the voltage signal from the oxygen sensor going down when the air pressure inside the intake manifold increases and that's because when the engine takes in more air it does that in order to burn more fuel right also you want to see an increased voltage signal from the o2 sensor when the map sensor is detecting more vacuum inside the intake manifold therefore a lower value like this so you probably know that the oxygen sensor can have a rich condition reflected in a higher voltage and a lean condition which will give a lower voltage now because this is a diesel engine this is the key actually very important factor a diesel engine it will run lean almost all the time even if you accelerate so if it was a gasoline that would be a different story but in this situation long story short the map sensor detects higher pressure more air coming in and the oxygen sensor must detect that as well by showing a lower voltage which means lean condition which means more air and less diesel than the stoichiometric 14.7 parts of air and one part of fuel or diesel. And it looks like we've got only one oxygen sensor. The other sensor is just a temperature sensor. Here we've got the sensor, it's right next to the turbocharger. Take it out from this bracket. This is a six wire connector, okay. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Okay, here it comes. And this, and this fabric will come out also. We've got here next to it a pressure sensor. So black and yellow and the red one 9.15 the car battery voltage is 13.7 volts black and yellow and the brown one it's 0 0.40 let's see black and yellow and this gray one nothing black and yellow and the yellow one down here we've got 8.88 and finally black and yellow and this blue with gray we've got nothing okay now let's switch the black one to this middle red one. Let's see, between the red one and the brown one, we've got 10.50 volts. Red one and this gray one, 6.64 volts. Red one in the middle here again, and the yellow one here, 0 0.2 volts. Red one and this gray with blue, 6.65 volts. Now let's move it to this brown wire here. So between the brown one and this gray one on the right down 0 0.30. Brown and this yellow 10.25. Gray with blue 0 0.30. Okay, let's switch the black terminal to this right down wire. And we've got the yellow one here 6.47 and the gray with blue nothing finally let's see between the yellow wire here and we've got 6.47 volts finally let's see the values on the connector when the sensor is not on pin number one and two we've got 10.63 volts one and three 0 0.41 one and four 0 0.30 one and five 2.20 one and six 0 0.30 2 and 3, 9.27, 2 and 4, 6.75, 2 and 5, 8.43, 3 and 4, nothing, 3 and 5, 1.58, 3 and 6, nothing, let's see between 4 and 5, 1.15, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75, 6.75
4 and 6 nothing 5 and 6 1.14 Alright, so that was it about these air sensors on this diesel engine. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, have a nice day and take care.